welcome to my channel and if you're new here thank you so much for finding me so this edition it's all about summer outfits my favorites i found from the high street this month so let's get straight to it and show you what I found. So first up is this ruffle midi dress that I found on John Lewis's website by the brand And Or. It's 100% cotton, but it's very thin cotton. So it's a tiny, tiny bit see-through, but not so much that you'd feel a bit conscious with it. I certainly don't. I think it's absolutely fine. So I love this cold shoulder cutout detail that we've got here, surrounded by the ruffles in the same fabric. Also got a really interesting shape here. I love how that falls and you've got all those lovely ruffles around it so then you've got this drop seam here and a really nice gathered hem which I think again makes it fall really beautifully and I like that shape now you've got this deep v-neck here and some tassel ties I've styled it a little bit bohemian with lots of my different jewelry that I've got so I've got a bracelet from Island Tribe um, one from Accessorize and this one from my lovely friend who makes her own bracelets and it's called Angel Rocks so I will put her website in the description as well and then I've just got some giant hoops on which again came from accessorize so very simple styling really I've just piled on a few of my favorite bits of jewelry and in that bohemian type of fashion it kind of works up if you've never heard of the brand Hush you really really should have a look at their collection. They've done this dress perfectly. The attention to detail is superb. I love it. Floor length white maxi dress with all those beautiful lace insert details. I think it's stunning and perfect for this summer. So it's 100% cotton and then you've got these lace details, trims and inserts which I think is a really beautiful and unusual touch. So it's a wrap kind of style over the chest then you've got the lace detail trim going over that as well. Then you've got this lovely slight kimono shape to the sleeve and the lace insert starts from here so it makes a really nice shape over your arm. For those of you who don't like showing your arms, you've got a really nice length there, so it's sitting just above my elbow, which is really flattering. It cinches in at the waist with a tie belt, and I've just left quite a long bow so you can have those tassels showing. And then as you get to your knees, you've got that beautiful lace insert all the way around, which I think is really stunning. It falls really beautifully. You've then got another section of the cotton fabric and another lovely lace trim, followed by ruffles and gathers on the final hem. You've also got a little slip dress that comes with it underneath and the straps of the slip dress are held in place with some little toggles inside the dress so it's not going to keep falling over your shoulder etc. It's just those little elements, that attention to detail that really takes something from being a standard pretty white maxi to a really beautiful dress, perfect for this summer and really on trend. yellow sundress from Warehouse. A dress in this style is never really going to go out of fashion, it's more about yellow being particularly in for the season. Saying that next summer would I feel conscious wearing a yellow dress? Not at all, so it will last. It nips in over the waist here and you've just got spaghetti straps over the shoulder. Then you've got buttons down the front here from that waistband and then it goes out in a nice A-line shape which I do think those A-line dresses are really, really flattering. I don't think the fit across the chest is working quite right. It feels like you want to bend that fabric back there. Like the shape here is just a little bit too big, but no big bother, I can just fold that back over the top there. And I wouldn't say it's the nicest cotton linen fabric. It's a bit stiff, it feels a little bit cheap. I just think in terms of value for money, other people like Cezanne, for instance, although they're a bit more expensive, I'd rather pay a little bit more and have their quality than going for this type of thing with all those little issues that are bugging me. So next up, a couple of bargains that I found on the high street. I am wearing a top that came from the And Or collection. I mentioned that I really, really love their collections. John Lewis do brilliant sales of that range. So this t-shirt was £11, which I thought was an absolute bargain. And to be honest, I would have bought it full price anyway, because I really like the style. 
as you can see it's coming up quite wide for me that's perfect i love wearing t-shirts oversized it's a lovely 100 percent cotton gray mild fabric really really soft to the touch nice and thin not too heavy so it's giving it lots of nice drape etc and you've just got this lilac stripe running through it and then you've got this frill detail which i think just makes it a little bit different from your basic crew neck t-shirt so I styled it with my favourite boyfriend jeans that I got from Mango. And then on my feet, I've got a pair of trainers that I found in Aldi supermarket for £6. Happy days. <laughs> Seriously. I really don't care where something comes from. As I've said before, a good piece is just a good piece. Obviously, the quality is not amazing, but it's not terrible either, in all fairness. So I've just styled this outfit with my lovely new handbag, which is insanely expensive, not bargain at all. However, I like that little element of rock chick with a really dressed down look. I think the contrast of those two together works really nicely. So next up, I found this beautiful cut out cotton top from All Saints. Now it was 98 pounds, so a little bit more expensive than some of the other items I found, but in my humble opinion, I would say it's absolutely worth it. The quality is beautiful. This cut out around the chest portion is very, very delicate, beautifully done, really high quality, and it just makes it look so feminine and pretty, but on those bohemian vibes. Shape-wise, again, it's a really nice cut. The seam goes here, just over your shoulders, which makes the sleeve fall in a really nice fashion. And they are quite wide sleeves as well. You've got quite a lot of room in there, coming down to just above the elbow, which is a really nice length, very flattering. So it is 100% cotton, and it's a really beautiful cotton. Very lightweight, it's got a lovely drape to it and a really nice touch actually as well. And just at the back, you've got a little button detail where you can just hook those buttons in place so it sits perfectly across your neck here. Now I've styled it out of the jeans just to really show you the top and you can see the shape, etc. But I think this would look really, really nice tucked in as well. And if you're wearing lots of the high-waisted trousers, it would look really nice tucked into some of those. Or you could do a bit of a French tuck and just get a little bit of fabric and just loosely pop it in as well. If you feel like you need to get a bit more shape here, just make sure if you wear it out, like I have, that on your bottom half that you wear something quite slimline, just to elongate your shape a bit. Obviously this is quite wide, and if you don't want to wear baggy trousers, it will just go wide all the way down. So I've just got a pair of straight leg jeans on and my heels that I got from Suzanne. I've just done a bit of a turn up on my jeans, just to show a little bit of skin on my ankle. As I'm quite covered on the top half, I just wanted a bit of skin showing. Just makes it feel a bit more summery. So if it's a really warm day, you could wear it with denim skirt, you could wear it with a pair of denim shorts. With a maxi skirt, I think it would look beautiful, but if I was wearing it with a maxi, I would say tuck it in for sure, because you don't want it to go quite wide all the way down. I've also styled it with my straw bag. I love those textures together of straw with pretty wide tops. And I will put in the description below some of my favorite straw bags that I found recently, because it's a look I love throughout summer. <music> super relaxed midi skirt from Hush. It's one of those staple basic pieces you know you can style up or style down depending on what you're doing. It's just a really nice cut and a lovely, lovely shape. Now I really like this because of the elastic waistband. I probably would say it's coming up a tiny bit big if you want it to fit tight. I personally like them really loose. I can definitely get my thumbs around there and it feels like it's sitting really nicely on my waist. So it's skimming over my hips really nicely. It's not digging in anywhere. It's not high highlighting any bad bits which is exactly why I like it. You have got those two splits either side which again just adds a little bit more interest and I really like the fact that it's got pockets either side which I think is a nice touch actually just makes it a little bit different. Fabric wise it's a little bit of a shame it is made from polyester however saying that it's probably nice polyester because it's not doing that static thing and sticking to me. So I've styled it with a simple black camisole that I got from a brand called Custom Made who are based in Denmark. They are an independent brand that I really, really like and they do some really beautiful camisoles in lots of different colours, so absolutely worth a look. I'll pop a link to their website in the description below. I've added my H&M Premium brown sandals with it. I love brown and black together, particularly for summer. Just a couple of bangles to finish off and then my big gold hoops as well. So I have mixed different colours with it 
doesn't really bother me. I actually prefer that look. And I've popped it with my gorgeous camel leather tote that I got from Everlane recently, just to bring in that brown tone to match the sandals, etc. So next up, I found this beautiful halter neck midi dress in this great shade of khaki. Now it only costs 38 pounds. For the style and the quality, I think that's an absolute bargain. So you've got this really nice high halter neck detail here, just goes around the neck with the strap and then falls down like a bit of a racer back. When you can see a woman's collarbone, I think that's really attractive and very flattering for most women as well. You've got a tiny open section here, which again, I think is really nice. It is elastic around the waist, but then you've got a tie just to cinch it in a tiny bit more and just a nice touch they've got little gold ends on them as well which just makes it feel a bit more expensive really lovely shape that is very very flattering a lovely silhouette falling down to that large hem where it's gathered at the seam so I've pinned my hair up out the way because it's such a pretty neckline, it'd be a shame to lose that with all my hair coming forward. Just added my simple gold hoops and a couple of bangles and a brown pair of sandals. I do love brown and green together, so I think that would be my favorite tone I'd probably mix it with. And with handbags as well, I'd probably say straw or one of those camel tones that I've got. So a really beautiful summer dress from Oasis that's made me realize I need to take another look at their whole collection. is probably quite specific for my British subscribers. As we know England well, so you're going to need a few sweaters in your wardrobe. But the good news is that lots of gorgeous sweaters are on sale at the moment. And I found this one from John Lewis at just 19 pounds. The knit is a combination of nylon, acrylic, and 10% wool, I believe. So it isn't pure wool, but for 19 pounds, we can't really complain. And in actual fact, it does feel really soft. It's very gentle against my skin. And if anybody else suffers with eczema, I tend to find that acrylic and nylon are actually really nice for it. They don't irritate you at all. It's got quite big wide sleeves and in the hope that the sun might actually come out, I've just shimmied them up and gathered the fabric and pulled it back over again, which just makes a really nice sleeve shape actually with that sort of slightly bell look there. And I put it with my gorgeous Everlane sandals in that lovely tone of taupe, just to add another neutral tone into the mix. And I think that contrast looks really lovely together. I think sweaters look really nice with denim skirts, particularly as the sun goes down, it gets a little bit colder and you need a bit of warmth. I do like this kind of look. So that's it, hopefully you liked this edition of all my favorite summer outfits I found from the high street just recently. As always, I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. If you are new to my channel and you like this video, it would be lovely if you could subscribe and maybe press the bell button. That way you'll get a notification each time I upload a new video so you won't miss anything. Don't forget, you can also find me over on Instagram at Fashion and Style Edit. I do hope you like this edition. Thank you again for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye.